right, good morning. We are going beyond the SEAF model. Uh, I am Jack Kosar, and this is Effective the Week, November 13th. Our signals for this week are technology and communication services. Technology has been really strong through, as you can see, through all three time periods, getting the highest ranking that we can possibly get with a rank of one in our trading, tactical, and strategic. Communication services coming in at second with two weeks, or sorry, two time periods of ranking number two um, in both the month and the trading week. Interesting about this is kind of the veracity of the flows. Technology services for the week and the month, the inflows are five times that of the communication services. And in the strategic time period, it's actually nine times. So while we're seeing money flowing into communication services um, and technology, the money is gushing into technology right now, which is kind of correlating to the, the rally that we've been seeing in the stock market. So we're, we're happy to be in technology. Uh, another key thing to note here is energy. As you can see, um, you know, two weeks ago, I mentioned that we wanted to maybe keep a look into energy. Uh, we saw a late, uh, late in the week, we saw some, uh, this was two weeks ago, we saw some cash coming back into energy. Well, that ended up not being, uh, that ended up not taking any hold or not building any trend. As you can see, ranked 11th um, in our weekly time period. Uh, the outflow of energy was the uh, about one percent, uh, which was the max amount that you could uh, max amount out of out of the sectors that we had. So you know, energy is struggling now. Energy is obviously still in the neutral territory, but it's holding on this this quarterly. But the the momentum of the inflow of cash has been broken with two time periods, so we're we're avoiding energy at this time. Last thing to note here on this table is looking into financials. Um, there's really nothing to do here yet, but seeing the inflow as a ranking in number three, you're starting to see going from 11, nine to three that, you know, potentially seeing something, I'll show this a little bit more in the charts later, um, but keeping an eye on financials as the inflow for the weekly time period was a little roughly the same as communication services. Uh, lastly here, you know, just still kind of looking at this consumer discretionary. It's been hovering between ranking 14 and 15 uh, going into the holiday season. Uh, like to see a little, we'd like to see some, some green. And, you know, we are seeing some clumping in, in this table, uh, clumping in the green up here and clumping in the red down here. It's less disparate than it's been in the last couple of weeks. I think that what that really is telling us is the market's starting to make a little bit more decisions on where they will want, you know, a little bit more conviction on where they want to put their money. Uh, let's head over to the rainbow charts. As you can see, technology, uh, you know, this is very similar to the chart that we showed last week, um, hanging out in this upper favored territory and really showing this relative our performance versus SPY. Um, as of right now, with the veracity of the flows, this looks, you know, you know, this trend looks to continue. Uh, you know, this is what the model does. It, it gets you, you know, highly favored, highly favored sectors really correlate to this this outperformance versus spy um, next to show you energy kind of the the flip the reverse side of things as we're seeing you know dipping into this neutral coming into close to avoid territory energy's relative our performance is really starting to break downward you know this is breaking this this trend here and as long as flows continue to come out of energy it's definitely going to be a place we want to avoid Moving into financials, like I said, nothing to do here yet. As you can see, the relative performance hasn't really spiked and we're still sitting in this avoid territory, but I do like to see that the money is starting to flow into financials. And the big key here is to what, you know, we've been in somewhat of a relative performance box here since let's call it, you know, mid June. Um, if we can see this relative performance kind of peak out above this box, it'll be something that we want to keep an eye on. But as of right now, nothing to do here. I just found it interesting. The flows came up to third and we're starting to see this, you know, potentially see this trigger up. And, you know, what, what that does with the relative performance, you know, time only time will tell. Lastly, communication services and calling this the little engine that could, uh, you know, it's not quite the uh, behemoth that technology has been, but 
just consistently having a positive outperformance trend uh, throughout the year. We had a little bit of correction here, but looking to rebound, sitting in that nicely, nice favored territory. Um, you know, communication services has just been a good place to be all year long. And as a uh, favored signal this week, it continue, you know, we're gonna continue there. Uh, lastly, looking at this particular chart, new to the Beyond the Seaf model video, um, this is showing the weekly percentage basis of how, if we combine all 11 sectors together, how much, how much does each sector take a part of that pie? So, you know, why I want to show you this, a couple of reasons. This green line right here, this is technology. Money has been flowing into technology. You can see that upward trajectory in terms of technology taking a larger portion of the pie out of the sectors. On the reverse side, energy, kind of kind of almost as if they were magnets pulling each other apart, taking this downward trend. Um, last part I want to show you on this uh, model just, or this particular chart is what communication service is doing. It gets a little jumbled up here, but you know, communication service is starting going a year, to, uh, a year back from today, slowly climbing, slowly climbing and getting its way up into here. Uh, money's been flowing into communication services and this chart a lot, uh, tells that. You know, we're actually gonna be looking to enhance this chart a little bit more going into the future. Um, that is Beyond the Seaf today. Thank you and uh, have a great week.